Hi, I'm Neil Perry from Zen Software. In this short video, I want to show you how you can back up your MailStore server. Just before I begin, I want to explain what it is we're backing up uh, in MailStore. Um, so I just want to point you to the actual Mail Archive folder. When you install MailStore, you'll choose where to store your Mail Archive. The default path is on the C drive. You'll see within the Mail Archive folder, you have your master database which contains all of the configuration, user settings, scheduled events, archive jobs, everything um, that's configured within MailStore is stored within the small master database and you will require that uh, if you want to use any of the archived email. It also contains the encryption key that's required to decrypt the mail in the archive so it's fundamental that you have a copy of this master database. As well as a master database, we've also got the file groups. And the file groups, the default file group, default file group folder, um, is the folder that would contain all of your mail that's archived. But it's common, and if you followed my other videos, you will have gone through the one where I discuss creating separate file groups for each year for your historic email. Um, so it's typical that you may have several different file groups, and these file groups contain uh, index files that for, for user searching as well as the actual uh, database for all of the message headers uh, and the content folder contains separate uh, message information in, in a sort of a named folder structure. For each of the messages and over time you have multiple DAT files um, that add up to create your, your message content. So by having a copy of this whole folder structure, this mail archive folder, we can recover a whole MD by having a copy of this whole folder structure, we can recover a whole mail store server to any other machine. It doesn't necessarily have to be recovered to the same server, so it can also be used for migrating mail store to a separate server altogether. So let's go back into the MailStore application. Now the first method of backing up MailStore is the built-in method. And if we go into Administrative Tools, we'll see that there's an option, Create Archive Backup. Now this, this tool will allow us to either create a, a backup right away, um, you know, a one-off backup of how the system is configured right now, or in a moment I'll show you how you can create a scheduled task. Now what it's going to do is it's going to back up all of the file groups that are currently at attached to MailStore. Uh, so in our example we're using um, these three folders, 2009 archive through to 2011. You can choose to only back up certain file groups, um, but because the, it's also doing this option to do an incremental backup, it only actually copies uh, new and changed files within these file groups. So there's no harm really in copying them all every time. It will only copy them if they have changed. You choose your target directory where the backup's going to go. So I'm going to choose a second hard drive on this machine, the D drive. And now I've got the option to schedule this task. So if we schedule it, typically uh, you want to give it a name, so backup mail store. Uh, we want to give it a, a, a time to run. Um, typically this will run, at, say, 1 o'clock in the morning, every day. I'm going to run it as the local system account, but if you were storing this backup on a network share, then you would have to provide Windows details for a user that has rights uh, to write files on that network share. So it's important that uh, you give the correct Windows account information here. So I'll choose OK now, and this will create a schedule. It's just warning me that, uh, that you're storing the username and p passwords in that window schedule. So OK that warning. Now it will have created a scheduled task now. And if I go into scheduled task, there's my task. And we can we can run that task. And it will run a backup in the background. Uh, and it should have it should create a copy of that folder structure. Now if I just uh, minimize this, it should be done now. And if we go into our E drive. Here's the MailStore backup folder. Now you can see that it's taken a full copy of that folder structure. But one thing to bear in mind is that the names of the storage groups have been changed. Uh, and this is a feature of MailStore. Is it, it, will, it will create new folder names um, based on the ID of that group. Uh, 
Now they still will work within MailStore, it's purely the name of this folder that's changed. Um, as long as we've got the master database we can re rebuild a MailStore server and we can reattach these folder groups. Now with two or three that's not a, a complicated task, um, but if you've got hundreds of folders here I prefer to actually do the backup in a, in a different way to preserve the folder names and I'm going to show you that option now. So the other way of backing up MailStore is by using a third party tool outside of MailStore altogether. And I'm going to use Backup Assist, uh, which is the backup software that we, we sell at Zen Software and highly recommend. Now, Backup Assist allows me to perform a file replication job, and this is just like a, a file and folder copy of a folder structure. So I've created a job here, and if I edit this job and show you what it's doing, the files and folders that I'm actually copying in this job again is the C in the mail archive folder so it's our file, default file group all of our other numbered file, uh, dated file groups and our master database everything that I've mentioned that you need to back up and recover uh, mail stop now the difference here is because I'm trying to back this up uh, outside of MailStore, I need to manually stop and start the MailStore service. Now this is important, you can back up the files without doing this, but you can't be sure that you've got a consistent copy of the database. It's possible that some of the data will be corrupt. Now in Backup Assist you can do this with the script function. You can run a specific script before the job runs, so all I do is I run a net stop and I tell it to stop the service mail store server and then after the jobs run I restart that service with net start mail store server and that's basically it you're taking a copy uh, the destination for this job is again going to be the e drive I've created a new folder backup assist mail store backup uh, and if I run this job now uh, I'll run it in the future so I'll run it as if it was going to run uh, tonight, today which is a Wednesday if we quickly let that job run Okay, so the job's run, it stopped the service, take, took a copy of the folder system and started the service again. And now if we uh, go into our backup folder, and we go up to the backup assist backup that we've just created, um, it's created a day a dade folder because this is the, the scheme we chose in backup assist so we've done a Wednesday backup you can see that we can drill right down to see mail archive and there's our backup of the mail store database the master database and our file groups but you notice this time it's preserving the names of the files uh, and, and the folders so if we want to recover mail store all we need to do is do a fresh installation of mail store stop the service put this folder back and start the service again and we'll be able to carry on from where we left off.